What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Moto AK47. Uh, today I just want to talk to you guys real quick uh, about how I afford my C5 Corvette and just give you guys some information on what I do for a living and then a couple more details about uh, owning a Corvette at 24 years old. I just turned 24 actually my birthday is on March 20th uh, so I was actually 23 years old when I bought the Corvette and so I just turned 24 but let's go ahead and get into this guys but first let me give you guys a cold start for the vet because I know a lot of you guys like the cold starts taking off here but just real quick as some of my subscribers know and if you don't know I have a C5 Corvette uh, it is a 2004 commemorative edition Corvette uh, it's blue if you don't know what a commemorative Corvette looks like look it up uh, but it's basically a blue C5 Corvette uh, Z06 with commemorative edition stripes on uh, the hood, the roof, and the trunk lid. Mine currently does not have the stripes on it, but I'm still looking to uh, get the stripes back on the Corvette. But again, uh, today we're just talking about how I afford a C5 Corvette at 24 years old. Um, and this is by no means a million dollar car or anything like that. It's not a, let's say, a $80,000 car or a $100,000 car. But at 24 years old, owning a Corvette, it's a little expensive. So for me, uh, if you don't get anything out of this video at least get this um, you got to have money <laughs> uh, there's no way around that but for me how I get most of my money is having multiple sources of income C5s are actually getting to be pretty affordable now so a lot of people can get their hands on one uh, which I took the chance and got the opportunity to get my hands hands on one and here I am today driving it and it was my dream car it was my uh, I've always wanted a Corvette since I was little and to be driving one now at 24 is very humbling for me I'm very excited to have it um, and honestly for me and where I came from I didn't think I would ever get a Corvette and if I ever did I think it probably would be or not until I was in my 60s or 50s or that kind of saying of like you won't get your dream car until uh, ambulance going by you won't get your dream car until um, your retirement but uh yeah, so for me, it's just having multiple sources of income. And some of the stuff that I do is I have a full-time job working for a city. I have my own landscaping business that I do on the side. I detail a few people's cars. I help my dad work on his business. He has a construction business that he started. Uh, when he was younger and that's how I started my uh, landscaping business through him because he knew how to start up a business and how to run a business and how to make it successful 
and how to retain customers and that's something that he taught me and even going off of my dad's story and how he taught me how to run my own business was he basically gave me the keys to making my own business and earning money and I just took it and ran with it and the story is um, when I was little I used to always cut grass well I'll tell you what my business is first it's a landscaping business It's cutting grass leaves all that landscaping stuff so um, early on when I was younger I want to say maybe five years old I was riding around on this green tractor that my dad had uh, cutting the grass and I'd always want to cut the grass with him so that's something that I started at a young age was lawn work because uh, after that I used to cut both of my grandmother's grasses and that's basically where it all started for me was making money right there at my own family members houses and after that I just took it and ran with it got more and more customers after that but with doing that and this is for all my landscapers out there that want to get a little bit higher you got to to up your clientele you got to up your equipment you got to get the jobs done faster because once you acquire more and more customers you got to get jobs done faster and faster and that's basically what all landscapers want is that efficiency of how fast you're getting clients done and accounts done throughout the day because the more you can get done the more money you're gonna make but for me I really don't need 20 plus accounts just for right now because like I said I have other multiple sources of income I have other jobs and which take up other parts of my day so I don't always have time to do 20 plus accounts each day um, mainly what I do is I do most of my accounts on a Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday type basis so I have more time to get them all done and special requests I'll do during the week or whatever do whatever I got to do but for now it's just that and maintaining my uh, time and time management because that's a, a big big part of running a business as well but going back to more on how I afford this is my multiple sources of income you're gonna hear me say that a lot throughout some of my uh, videos is just keeping those multiple sources of income you don't ever want to have just one source of income because that one source of income can end any day and then what do you have left with nothing you're not getting paid if you got bills to pay for you got car insurance car note you got electric bill your phone bill you got all this stuff to pay if that one source of income goes away then you have nothing so you need to have at least at least for me and for me to tell you guys two to three sources of income and this is something that I'm gonna take to me to the grave because and I'm gonna also if I'm blessed to have kids one day and get married and have kids one day this is something I'm gonna want my wife to have and want my kids to learn and acquire from me their father because this is something that my dad taught me and my brother and my sister so I got to pass that down and it's it's work so why not keep passing it on down my family tree um, so that's kind of important right there so furthermore is saving money I had to do a bit of saving to buy this car out or not buy it out but buy it I bought it actually at a good deal from a guy I work with or used to work with for he works for another city very close by to the city that I work for uh, his name's Greg he's a real good guy um, but I bought it from him he's a real big Corvette guy uh, I talk to him basically at least once a week tunnel <laughs> I talked to him about once a week uh, gave me a good deal on the car and I was actually making payments to him on this car 
and about a month and a half ago I finally paid him off uh, and then I took out a loan from Navy Federal because I bank with them as well uh, I bank with them in Huntington and I took out a loan from them to buy this car and yes you do have to have uh, a decent credit score and you have to have an account with them to take out a loan from them or with them and I only have three thousand dollars left to pay with them and the car will be done and paid off but with saving and what I meant by that is I didn't just with thousand dollars go put a thousand dollars to Greg and buy this car out or buy this car I uh, saved up money and it took a little bit and the reason why I took the loan out rather than paying just the cash was because of time and other things that I had to pay for honestly um, and it's all based on your situation. My situation was I had a couple other things to pay for, but I really wanted this Corvette. And I knew I was going to be able to pay the car off within a year. And that year's coming up. I got this Corvette last July. So it's not even July yet again for 2019. And I got it last year of July 2018. So that's the reason why I took the loan out instead of just paying the cash because I needed the cash that I some of the cash that I did save up for some other things um, because as you all know life happens so I kind of basically did the adult thing and I had to keep some money in my pocket for something or in case something does happen or if I needed a little bit of money and uh, sure enough life happened and I needed a little bit of money and if I would have paid full cash out for this Corvette I wouldn't have had that money to deal with the situation but um so that's why I took the loan out um furthermore and wrapping this video up a little bit so the main thing is you have to have multiple sources of income or if you just have one then you got to have a I guess a higher than $30 an hour job um, but I don't have a 30 an hour dollar an hour job so I have multiple sources of income and even if I did honestly I'd say I'd still have multiple sources of income because look at millionaires and even thousandaires I guess you could say they have multiple sources of income and it's it's the truth it's reality you have to have multiple sources of income like going back to what I said about if you just have one source of income, if that one source of income goes away, then you can't pay your bills. You can't pay your house note or your rent. You can't pay your phone bill, your car insurance, uh, your rental insurance if you rent. Uh, you can't pay for gas or groceries. If you got kids, you can't pay for diapers or whatever your kids need, sports equipment if they play sports. So you got to have multiple sources of income you have to and that's big with me and I'll always have more than one source of income because it saves you it lets you predict and pick out which check from whatever source of income you got to use that on your bills you can use your other income check for groceries you can use your other income check strictly for your car payments and your insurance stuff like that it gets a whole lot easier with life if you have multiple sources of income and I'm blessed to be sitting in this car um, at 24 years old it's a blessing for me um, I have family that support me um, in all my businesses so that helps even more um, and basically I'd say a good amount of my customers are my family too and or that have become family and that I treat like family uh, but 
yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much all I got for you. If so, if you don't take anything away from this video, like I said in the beginning, you have to have multiple sources of income. That's it. To be able to afford the nicer things that you want. Because again, remember I said I didn't think I'd ever get my dream car, a Corvette. Or if I did, it wouldn't be until I was 65 years old or later, my or retirement age or of retirement age. Um, because that's like the, the saying for all people you won't get your dream car until you retire when you got all your stuff paid for but I didn't like that so I did something about it I took what my dad taught me and I ran with it uh, because I wanted the nice things faster and a little bit more of that story is I wanted a pair of shoes when I was little and my dad said okay you got to work for it and I was like okay what's that mean and then he showed me the way the for Christmas that year um, I got a push mower a weed eater and a blower and he said get to work you want those shoes go make the money and go buy them yourself and something else that he taught me and my brother and my sister will laugh about this is um, I I'm a big candy eater especially when I was little I love candy got a sweet tooth still love ice cream to this day a whole lot but um he said if you can't open it, you can't have it. And that used to really make me mad as a kid because I loved candy. And sometimes I just couldn't open that, open the wrapper when I was like real little. And he said, if you can't open it, you can't have it. And so ever since then, it's just like been that learning curve. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Um, come back to the channel again and watch some more. I got a lot more videos to start pumping out. This Ohio weather is sternly fight finding its way to spring and it's starting to get a little bit better out here. Today I think it's up in the 50s or like high 40s. So it was a good, a good day to get the vet out here and talk to you guys. So appreciate you for watching. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram, MotoNK47 and subscribe to the channel, MotoNK47. Peace guys.